Welcome to this fourth video in our series on armed wrestling with Gregor, Bert and me, Bernhard. Today we'll show you a new technique, another very effective wrestling technique from a slightly different setup. So let's get to it. Okay, Bert starts with an Oberhaum and Gregor accepts the bind. They are now in a bind situation. The first thing uh, Bert will check out is whether Gregor is actually committed to the bind and is pressing strongly on his blade. Once he has determined that, yes, this is actually the case, he can continue to produce an opening for wrestling. This time, he's going to do this by displacing Gregor's sword to the side, using his cross guard. Now he's close enough to actually go into full wrestling mode. He can let go of his blade, and he's going to bring his arm over Gregor's sword arm, thereby blocking any movement uh, that Gregor might do with the sword and brings his arm under Gregor's left armpit. He's going to continue to step behind Gregor. He brings his arms and um, hands together in a palm to palm grip, which has to be a very tight grip. And you might notice, you might have noticed that he's blocking Gregor's movement of his right upper leg and hip right here with his elbow. So when he starts to, when he continues to apply pressure with his upper body and his full body weight, and giving it a slight forward ve vector, what's going to happen is that Gregor will uh, start to fall forwards uh, face first. Now, the fight could be over here, or you could move into a better position if you want to finish the job by actually pummeling um, him senseless, if you're so inclined. Okay, let's check out a variation of the same theme. The setup is going to be the same. So we have an Oberhauer as an initial attack, Oberhauer as a counter, we are in a bind now. Bert is going to displace the bind sidewards. He's going to let go of his sword and to focus on wrestling. He's moving behind Gregor. So up until now, it's basically the same. Only this time, when he starts to grind forwards and downwards, Gregor tries to regain balance by um, straightening his torso like this. We can actually make use of this as soon as we realize he's moving upwards, we continue this upwards motion. So Bert moves in closer now and lifts Gregor off his legs just a tiny bit, just enough so he can apply a little bit of an impulse to Gregor's legs with his leg or with his knee, thereby making him fall, like this. Be sure to hang on to your opponent. You want to stay in control until the very end, whatever the end may look like. Exactly. <laughs> So that's it for today. Let's have both techniques once more, please. 